Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. Let's do some Ask Mendel. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or go to my Instagram or Facebook and you can ask me anything you want. Okay, let's get right to it. Would you consider a healthy picking speed limit for general extreme metal playing for practice? There is no limit. What tuning is the blood, the sin and the gin? That is B standard and then the low B is tuned down to F sharp. Sounds like this. I'm going to do a video about the tone I did for that EP. I need tasks, please, sir, provide them. Uh, tab books are coming up. I love your way to make music, such good riffs and awesome solos. Thank you. <laughs> How do I increase my tremolo picking speed? Um, so when I was practicing back in the day, um, what I did was like the Petrucci method. So let's say you start at 100 BPM, then 120, 110, 130. So plus 20, minus 10, and then work your way up. How to sweep picking fast and clean? Practice. Practice without a lot of gain, like low gain, and record yourself. I think that's the best one, record yourself. Because if you record yourself, then you can see like what you did wrong and kind of stuff, or where you need to improve. Your favorite amp sim? Um, I really like the Neural DSP stuff, like the, four, the nameless suite of the Fortin amp, and what's the other one? The Fortin NTS, and for my, um, for my, uh, what's it called? For my uh, older EP, uh, Shaking Hands with the Devil, I used the, um, the Poulin Lecto with like a Mesa amp sim. Still sounds amazing to me. What studio gear do you use for recording? So basically I have my uh, Kemper Profiler, which is, I can't live without it. And then my interface is Universal Audio Apollo Twin Duo. And then I record everything in uh, Cubase. Get your speakers out of there. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. I did, moved a bit from the wall. Thank you very much, I'm kidding. Thanks, Jason, thank you. Your guitar collection. All right. So, so as you know, I have like the Zelda guitar and then I also have this Batman guitar. It's also a Karelian guitar, custom made, like nine piece neck. Anyway, I have that. I have my Lockmaster Custom 3000. Sounds pretty cool. Then I have my old touring guitar, Dildo. It's also a lag guitar. And I still have my Les Paul Epiphone, was one, one of my first guitars. Still sounds amazing, even better now with the Fishman Fluence pickups. And the lag acoustic guitar. That's basically it. Something not too expensive or big in size and easy to handle. That's what she said. Never mind. Can you recommend a solid plugin for death metal tones for Cubase? Oh, okay, so those questions go together. Can you recommend a solid plugin for death metal tones for Cubase? Um, like death metal, basically, in my opinion, almost any high gain amp will go for death metal if you're a good player. So, and Jason is a good player. He plays inside a toxin. Just check it out. It sounds pretty heavy. It sounds like this. But um, I would go for the Nameless Suite or the NTS from Neural DSP or the Lupulin Lecto. What you're tuning with aborted? Uh, aborted plays in B standard and some songs are in drop A. Will you get in a new band project in the future? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy now like doing mixing and mastering for bands and uh, maybe in the future with solo stuff or something new, who knows. Gonna do any touring with your solo stuff. It's sweet as fuck, thank you. Thank you for saying my solo stuff is the sweet as fuck. Again, I don't know, maybe in the future, who knows. Any change we could ever jam? Sure man, strawberry jam, let's do it. Card trick, please. Haven't done, okay, here we go. <sighs> See if I can still do card tricks. All right, let's... I'll make an edit with my card tricks going now.
How do you make your perfect balance between yours, guitars, bass and drums? Balancing is, in my opinion, one of the most, maybe even the most important thing with mixing. Uh, and also the hardest. I'm, it's something I still struggle with balance on. Most of the time, my guitars are a bit low and the drums are too loud. How do you make balance? Perhaps listen to your favorite mixes and try to compare it. How do you go about writing your rhythm sections for your solo parts? Or is the solo or rhythm first? It depends on the song, to be honest. Um, it depends on the song. Like, with um, uh, Hell, my song Hellbound, it just started with that whole sweep section idea. And then the riffs came after that. And, for example, with the song uh, Final Absolution, which I wrote for Aborted, it started just with that Bach kind of type octave riff. Do you love me? I love everybody. Lick of the week. I should do that. I should do a lick of the week. Who knows? Any upcoming camper packs? All of yours are sick as fuck. Thank you. Thank you for saying my licks are sick. Um, I am. I am working on a camper pack. On a custom camper pack. And I'm not sure I don't have, haven't set any deadlines. Which is a bad thing. I should set deadlines. Best tips for mixing symphonic stuff. Um, here's a great quote, and I can't remember who said, I think it was Daniel Bergstrand who said, um, or maybe even someone else. Anyway, um, a good arrangement, a good arrangement equals a good mix. That's it. A good arrangement equals a good mix, which is true. So best is for mixing symphonic stuff, have a good arrangement for the symphony. Just don't copy paste chords, the whole chord to every section and everything plays the same thing. And uh, filtering, filtering like the low stuff out and stuff you don't need to make room for other space. What do you think of solar guitars and what's your favorite guitar, small practice amp and pedal? Solar guitars, I think I haven't played a solar guitar, but I did play like Ola Signature Lefty in France near the Moulin Rouge, I remember, in this lefty guitar store, and it was amazing. I, I really liked it. It was a bit light for my taste, because I like heavy guitars, but um, it was really good. Small practice amp, I don't know, I haven't used small, I would say maybe, it's a modeling amp, but the Pod XT, used that for years. Pedal, um, Really like that Seymour Duncan 805 overdrive pedal. The Maxim pedal sick as well. Any tabs at the Universal Omega yet? It's coming. It's coming. Probably in a couple months. Best VST for guitar tricking. Neural DSP, Nameless Suite or NTS or... No, just those two I guess. Alright, that's it for now. Put your questions for the next video in the comments below. Hit subscribe and the bell. And follow me on my social media which should appear somewhere here. Okay. Thank you very much. See you next time. Cheers.